with me, darling. Can I have one? Right, what? Even oh, one rose? You can have one Thank rose. you yourself. Yes. Oh, thanks, darling. Uh, now, my final guest this evening waltzed us into a world of old-fashioned romance on Saturday. The nation was left swooning for days. It's Louise and Karen. Uh -huh. <laughs> could be one of your five a day. It is so good to watch. It is effortless. The artistry of how you play with the music is <gasps> divine. It really is. Your grace, fluidity, movement around the floor was absolutely incredible. I just could watch you all night. Louise and Kevin, our darling Walter Matildas. Well done. You absolutely smashed that dance. Louise, it was beautiful. Did you love it? Do you know what I, I did? I had a bit of a stressful week with it, actually. Yeah. So to go out and get to that stage on a Saturday night for me was just brilliant because all week I'd found it tough. I don't know why, just... I think being back in ballroom after having quite big, powerful numbers, and, and but I loved it on the night. I always love it on the night. It's just the, the week leading up to it. The week leading up to it. But then at least it's that way round. We're yeah. loving it in the week and then on the yeah. Saturday night going, oh! <laughs> it's amazing it's how hard a waltz is. Obviously, Kevin didn't make it easy for you either. Careful, we'll no. come to that in a minute. Um, also, you had Jamie come into rehearsals, your yes. fella. I, I just wonder, has he picked up any moves? Do you practice at home? Is he helpful like that now? He did actually say to me, I will never dance in public ever again <laughs> never ask me again no he's not a dancer oh, he doesn't enjoy it but i was so proud that he came and got involved actually because I know he did yeah. yeah he took it a little bit seriously didn't he i know he? i was trying to get him to do one two three of the waltz the only yeah. way i could get him to do it was to explain it as a step over in football oh, in football so he's going like step then, over and yes. close your feet step over like, and close your feet i can do this yeah. so we won't be calling about next year maybe not he, he okay. kept saying to me i think i'm lunging i don't think i'm meant to be lunging i was like okay it's only for, it's only for a moment don't worry about the lunging. Oh, I love it. The whole family gets involved. Um, Kev, Darcy was absolutely blown away with the finger turns, as was yeah. Karen Hardy. I mean, there were so many. We tried to count as you go. So we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. I mean, no, yes, you, you didn't realise you did so many. Um, they must have been hard to to practice a master um, did it take a while yeah, to well, get that right one it's sort of the spotting that, that yeah. everyone often talks about when you're spinning spotting down the room yeah. um, which Louise likes to look down quite a lot <laughs> so, yes. so that doesn't often happen yeah. but also um, in training Louise often goes rogue and, and does her own thing <laughs> I thought we weren't going to talk about this and so, so <laughs> <laughs> instead of letting me sort of take hold of her at the end of yeah. it and take her down into the end yeah. line she shouldn't, sometimes she would just decide that she was going to go down so it was more about me trying to catch her she'd just go spin 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 off I go <laughs> I'm on the floor. I've had enough. I was like, okay, I've had enough now. I want to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right down there, love? Oh, dear. Um, and also, second on a, second up there, I think in the second week in a row that you've had 39 after Argentine yeah. Tango as well. When is Craig going to give you a tin, Kev? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I've got, I've got no idea. I, I, I don't know. We keep, we keep <laughs> striving, but like, this is the thing with Craig, isn't it? He yeah. has to see like absolute perfection and the thing is he brought up this thing on lens lens about um about her shoulders coming up right on one part of it and that's why i didn't give the 10 <laughs> but it was designed that way it was yeah. all part of the character that she was like that and trying to push me away no which you weren't weren't you like no yeah. so the so shoulders no. were supposed to come up <laughs> yeah there. so we're like, oh, no we just made a wrong decision oh, <laughs> i know so from now on there'll be, no, there'll be none of that yeah. but you will you'll you'll I'm hoping. <laughs> um, also, uh, second to Danny for the second week in a row. Um, after your main dance, this is in fact for your third week in a row, second to Danny. Um, how do you knock him off the top spot? I mean, what do we do? Uh, any plan? We were thinking butter on the bottom of his shoes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, on. Perhaps. Could try that one. Do you know he's just so great, isn't he? So good that I'm actually quite still chuffed to be second to Danny because yeah. there's still quite a lot of good dancers on there, and I'm second. Yeah. Do you think, with I'll that. Take, that. I'll take that. Do you think if I open my shirt like Danny does, <laughs> it would have the same effect? I'm not sure. Oh, the nation mean? can take it. Uh, I have to say. get his shirt open. They won't allow it. I've asked a few times. They won't allow it. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, highest waltz uh, score of the series. So you've beaten your sister. Woohoo! Yes. Um, and you <laughs> did go on to win the Cha Cha Challenge. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Which means that you equal Danny. Um, you looked probably shocked, the two of you, when they announced it. 
<laughs> we were because all week I couldn't. I, I thought he was winding me up because he said you have to walk onto the ballroom <laughs> and get into a position. I'm like, you're just winding me up because I'm going to be the silly one in the corner, like, <laughs> like <this. laughs> you know, doing Latin, and everyone's going to be stood there. And then he left me for ages to do like a hip move. I said, just don't leave me there for long. Can you come and get me quickly? Yeah. He's like, nope, we're taking this seriously. So I was laughing <laughs> all the way through. So when we finished, I did say to him, I promise I didn't bend my legs, not once. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like when we won obviously we were just laughing because we knew that we had had a you know joking around all week with it so i was so chuffed to win so was i i know whatever it was that I you don't win did usually <laughs> I never wins um musicals week and I'm so... You, you just get all the best ones. Um, whip Crack Away <laughs> yeah. from Calamity Jane. Let's hear it. We've had this on all day in the studio. Come on. Stage is rolling on over the plane. I love this so, so much. How Calamity Jane are you, Louise? Well, she's kind of a bit of a tomboy, yeah. kind of like a lot of... I mean, I wasn't so keen on the thigh-slapping kind of routines, but I'm kind of loving this. So. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting well into this. Yeah, there's a lot of that and a lot of kind of elbow. She told me at the beginning of the series, <laughs> yeah. just, look, I'll do my best for you, I really will, but I won't be... I'm not very good at all that kind of... this kind of thigh-slapping stuff. I won't do any of that. I was like, unfortunately, Louise, you've been partnered with me. <laughs> Week 11, <laughs> look what's happening. There is one little uh, oh. detail that Kevin is trying to bring out of you in this week's performance that you might not be too sure about, Louise. Let's have a look. <laughs> so Kevin wants me to shout in an American accent. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> He's not. Which is just slightly embarrassing on a Monday morning at 10.30. But you have to do it in American because <laughs> oh, if you do it in your accent... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take me a while to warm. I'm going to need the outfit and everything to pull that off. Whose idea was that? You? Mine. It's really, that's your, one of your worst ideas yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. The yee how is it? How is it now? Look, come on, we'll give you some help. yee Come on, yeehaw! people. yee <laughs> And Louise. yee Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Uh, a little fact to finish the show with today. Uh, because you've been in the final for all the series that you've been here, Kev, this weekend will be your 50th show without ever having been knocked out of the competition. Oh, dear. No pressure, Louise. No, it makes me feel sick when people keep saying that, Tim. Sorry. I'm like, before I go up the stairs every Saturday, I just say to him, I'm just really sorry if you get kicked off with me this week. I'm just really sorry. I cannot wait to see that Thigh slapping, yee-haw, and I think you're going to be absolutely amazing. Are you, you, you pleased with how it's gone this week, Kev? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm not, Louise just has got this face all the time, like, <laughs> like that, but, but I'm, re I'm, really, I'm in my element. I love this. Excellent. Good luck with it. You can be a little own Howard Keel. Uh, good luck, Louise and Kevin! <laughs> Uh, don't worry, that's all we have time for tonight, but we are here again tomorrow at 6.30. I'll be chatting to Lord and Lady Samba, Danny and OT. Vicky Gill will let us have a little peek at the weekend's wardrobe secrets. And the Pro Challenge continues with Pash Pot himself. Don't miss it. Until then, good night.